Craig Smalls! Yes, Greenwich, we are out on a Thursday. Uh, my name's Craig Smalls, excited to be here. Just want to prove to my girlfriend that I can last five minutes. <laughs> I've actually got some exciting news to share with you all this evening. During lockdown, me and my girlfriend made our first baby. Thank you. And uh, the funny thing is, two weeks before we found out she was pregnant, we also found out she hates me. <laughs> when I told her that we couldn't get a puppy because we wasn't ready for that level of commitment yet. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't mean to say that, but I'm a bloke. And what are blokes, Kate? Um. There's no right or wrong answer. <laughs> We're dickheads, aren't we? I said that at a gig a couple of weeks ago in Hertfordshire, and I think the girl that I asked had just split up with her boyfriend because she just looked at me, she fixed me with these steely eyes and just went, you're all bastards. <laughs> um, yeah, no, look, what, 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 I sh what I should have said is, babe, you know I love you, but we're both on furlough, so <laughs> let's not spend three grand on a cockapoo. <laughs> you heard that right, three grand. I don't care how cute they are. I can buy a house up north for three grand. <laughs> but I didn't say that, I played the commitment card. And then um, karma went, surprise. You're having a baby. If you thought cockapoos were expensive. Um, I say surprise. I'd like to go on record and say, best surprise that I've ever had. Best surprise I've ever had. When I say surprise, we did have sex. <laughs> it wasn't a Mary and Joseph situation. Um, what happened is I, I went to Tesco's. I went shopping during, during the lockdown and I forgot my mask. So I tried to sneak in and this big communist bouncer grabbed hold of me. <laughs> and he went, you no protection, you no come inside. It turns out my girlfriend isn't as strict as Tesco's. <laughs> and she's not heard that joke yet. <laughs> um, but I'm trying to be a modern dad. That's what it's all about. I'm trying to be a modern dad. I'm changing all the dirty nappies. Doing all the night feeds. Not shagging around. <laughs> Something my dad never quite got the hang of. Because he was proper old school, my dad. Like, really handy around the house. Could fix any job, but showed no emotion whatsoever. And now I've got a little girl. I know that I don't want to be that kind of dad because I've got no idea how to fix a leaky tap. <laughs> Which is ironic because I sound like a decent plumber, don't I? <laughs> be honest, Kate. If I come round your house to sort your pipes out... That sounded a bit wrong, didn't it? Uh, look, I'm, I'm going to get myself in trouble here. I'm not a plumber. I am, in fact, a train driver. Well, let, let's be honest. It's a fucking miracle I've even turned up tonight, isn't it? <laughs> when, I, when I was at school, I had this, I had this really nasty teacher. He used, used to pick on me. And uh, he used to say to me, Craig, you're never going to get a job staring out of the window all day. I, I want to get his phone number <laughs> and I want to ring him up and I want to say, hello, is, is that Mr Nash? No, I'm not phoning about your plumbing. <laughs> uh, it's Craig Smalls, sir. That's right, the one that used to stare out the window all day. I'm a train driver, sir. That's right. You'll never guess how much they pay me to do it as well. <laughs> 20 cockapoos a year, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Is there, is there anyone in the audience that lives right next to a, a railway line? Yeah. Right next to it. Well, I'm going to give you a little, little piece of advice. Train drivers, we can see in your windows. <laughs> and we know where to look. 
let me, you're a train driver, aren't you? Because you keep putting your thumb up like, mate, I know, I know. I know exactly what you're talking about. Thank you very much.